Okay, make sure there's no poison ivy. Yeah, pretty good. Hey folks, welcome to episode one of the sauna build. You've probably seen me call it a cabin build or various things. Since we're right behind my house, I figured I didn't really need a cabin and what I could probably use more often would be something like a sauna. With all the health benefits that you kind of see from various podcasts and, and such about saunas, I just, you know, I'm, I'm all in pretty much and I really wanted to kind of go after it. So, so yeah, in this particular series, I'm going to try and muck my way through building a sauna pretty much. And this is episode one where we'll pretty much build out the floor, which is effectively a glorified pressure treated deck. Uh, in the middle of the woods here. It's been a, it's been a few years since I built up the A-frame, so it's going to be kind of fun to just get at another structure yet again. Uh, I've definitely been dreaming of something like this. Of course, projects like these cost quite a bit and can be a bit time consuming. So you know, to save up and to to finally be able to build it, uh, I'm pretty pumped on. Just follow me through this journey. We'll see how this kind of goes, but for now, we'll uh, we'll build out a floor in this episode. So here we go. So we start off with drilling holes into the concrete sauna tubes that we poured last year. That may be wrong. If you're wondering why we're drilling slightly off center, it's because we decided to pour a concrete last November in some pretty crazy rain. And uh, yeah, that was definitely a bit of a mistake. Nevertheless, we ended up finding clean lines and we drilled out half inch holes with a masonry bit. We then cleaned it out with our air compressor. And a hot tip is to definitely not be directly over the hole looking down. Don't ask me how I know why. Every day. Using some Simpson anchoring adhesive, we used galvanized retrofit bolts for which we were able to hold down our Simpson post bases. But I could use a change. A little up, a little down. A little lost, a little found. A little home, a little down. That may be wrong, but I want to believe. With the 4x4 post bases in place, we used our laser just to look at approximate heights in which we needed to cut each post at. Can't see it? What we're doing right now is we're putting down these four by fours to our concrete blocks. We're using these Simpson strong ties. And yeah, goes in about six, six, of these, uh, six of these screws into each of these. And then we're building up our foundation off of this here. Okay, so at this point, so we've got the three main sort of stretchers that are kind of holding up the structure. Um, what we're gonna do now is basically add the actual floor itself. We're kind of basically building a deck uh, in which we're gonna build this cabin on top of. So what comes next is basically, we're gonna go two foot on center and we're gonna have all the floor, floor joists in place there. We're gonna be attaching everything with some Simpson strong ties and we're gonna have some end beams, which also are all tied in with the whole Simpson system. So I think by the time we're done this thing, it's gonna be pretty bomber. Yeah, so we'll give this thing, we'll give this thing a shot. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's as strong as I say it will be. With the joists ready to be added, we first added the joist hangers and we would mark them out on our rim joist. This effectively ensured that the spacing between the joists were even across the whole span. So to get the nails in eventually, we kind of have to bring a generator up to the site. 
This is one of my least favorite parts. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so at this point with basically all our floor joists pretty much pinned together here for this deck slash what we're gonna build the sauna on top of, uh, the plan now, the plan now is to ensure that we're square and what we're basically gonna do is measure from diagonal to diagonal and uh, see if it's square. Once we kind of know that it's square, we can start pinning things down to the braces underneath and we'll kind of go from there. Let's pin down a corner. And the tape around it looks like we have 165 and a half inches and on the next corner we have 165 flat so we kind of got to do a little bit of adjusting and bump in here kind of try and get square here this gives us 164 and 165 and a quarter okay so i think it looks like our dimensions are pretty much kind of set here so what we'll start doing is we can start probably pinning things down to uh to the beams below there So besides toenailing all of these uh, two by sixes together, another thing we've got to add as well are these Simpson Strong ties. They're effectively hurricane rated ties, so it'll really just keep everything pretty bomber. There's been quite a bit of wind of late, so yeah, these will be important for everything as well. What's the likelihood of mice getting in? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome, dude. That's pretty cool. 